Hi, this is uh, Tim Eric Hanneman uh, with an update to the doctor's office this June 6, 2022. Okay, I uh, went to the doctor and I was going to the doctor for these marks I got on me. I said, oh no chicken pox or pox, monkey pox, some kind of something what's going on. And then here, and then I got some on my shoulders and my back. And um, so what happened was uh, she took a scraping and um, they're sending that off to the lab. And... Um, then she wants to get a uh, MRI of, from my neck on down, and uh, she made an uh, appointment for the dermatologist, and then they took did some blood work, and uh, then when all these things get back uh, from the labs and uh, uh, the imaging, then they're going to coab coabulate, don't say that well, coabulate together and uh, come up with a hypothesis to uh, determine if they nail down the problem or uh, where to go from there. And my doctor also uh, prescribed to me uh, this medication. Sorry, this medication uh, to take, uh, and it cost me five cents. And this is what it is. I know it's backwards, but. Try to look at it backwards. But that's what it is. And uh, it cost me five cents to get this medication. And this medication has two, only two, pills. And I'm supposed to take them, the two, you're supposed to take them at the same time. And that's it. And, uh, I haven't looked it up exactly yet what uh, this medication is used for, but uh, <clears throat> a while back, if you uh, watched um, uh, one post or several posts that I made about pulling the worm out of my back, back of my neck, and uh, I pulled it out, and... Uh, rip my skin all up pulling it out and uh, but I kept I kept it it was a, it was a worm I pulled a worm out and I kept it and I put it on my sink and I took a picture of it and uh, then after I took the picture I accidentally knocked it off into the sink down the drain and uh, so I had the picture of it, and then I saw the doctor about it then at that time, and uh, she said, well, if she had uh, the worms, she'd be able to identify it. And uh, But I had a good photograph of that worm that I took out, and then I noticed I, I looked at it several times, and then uh, here lately, uh, I examined that photograph again, and 
uh, zoomed in on uh, on the worm, and at the end of the worm, it had a little hooks, hooks shaped, two little hook shaped things on the end of it, and so I thought, well, that's a hookworm, and. Uh, so I did further research into uh, hookworms and and tried to match it up with because there's different kinds of hookworms and uh, so tried to match it up with some hookworms and indeed it's a looks like a, a hookworm and um, uh, and then I lost weight. I only weigh, I think, uh, 98, 100, 98 or something like that. And then I was tired, still am tired. And uh, so I, and then I don't walk good. And uh, then I don't breathe good. So I wanted to get better control of that, and I felt like it was a a worm or something that uh, it's causing me not to have a good appetite. I even smoke pot. Well, not pot, but the oil, um, pot oil. I call it pot oil, and. I'm still, you know, it still doesn't help me with my, my appetite. I don't eat that much. And so I dropped weight in the last month, especially when boom, you know, because I was like 130, 125, 130. And then from there, it went down to 98, 100. <coughs> Excuse me, but um, my research said that it, that these hookworms, uh, if you live around animals, the cats and dogs, uh, you could be getting these hookworms from animals. And uh, I go, oh, no, you know, because where I live, it's a uh, doggy daycare center. Uh, and they have overnights, and then they have uh, just day, day, day dogs. Then they have overnight uh, dogs. Sometimes uh, they're boarded for, like, a month of the time or so uh, when people go on vacation. And I used to take care of them, and I just couldn't handle it anymore either. And I had to stop doing that. And um, so I said, wow, it's uh, from being around animals maybe. You know, and I have a cat. I had to serve my service dog passed away a good while back now, uh, Mr. Coco. And now I have Mr. Oliver the cat. And uh, Mr. Oliver sleeps up in the bed with me. So, and then uh, I thought, well, he got, he, the same thing happened to him. He, uh, uh, he was always tired, and uh, he lost his appetite, and so I bought him some uh, worm medicine, gave it to him once, but he still is the same way, <clears throat> didn't seem to help. So, uh, I probably should treat him again for that, and... But it seems like the uh, more I go along here, <clears throat> I, not my doctor, but me, uh, 
tracked it down myself and um, now I'm just wanting validation for uh, what my prognosis was and um, so that's what I'm doing that's my report I'm in the midst of well they took the blood already and uh, I have to make an appointment for the imaging and then I have to make an appointment for the dermatologist but I sure hope that they get it found out because it makes it a lot harder for me to move and a lot harder for me to breathe. You know, I can only, I'm, I'm in laying in my bed right now when I'm speaking to you. And uh, this is where I am most of the day, right here where I'm speaking to you in the bed. Because, uh, uh, you know, I don't walk good and I'm even more wobbly now walking than I used to be and um, uh, if I get up I have the oxygen to where uh, when I get up I can go part way into my trailer but if I go to the bathroom or if I go to wash the dishes it won't go that far and uh, or I could pick it up and uh, set it in a different place but I'm really careful with it I don't want to break it and, uh, <clears throat> then I also have a tank of oxygen outside behind my trailer in case something goes wrong with the portable unit and um, and I keep doing that a lot you know I my my hands shake a little bit every once in a while not all the time but once in a while and my throat, my throat, that's why she wants the thing to go from my throat on down because I have trouble. It feels like I'm hoarse and I'm always dry. I don't know. And, but we're going to get it, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I ain't going to let this or anything get me down, you know? Uh, I'm a survivor. I'm not a quitter. And uh, and if, if uh, doctors can't understand it and everything, then I have to put this inside that little nog in there. I have to put it to work and find out myself and do my research myself. And so... I've already completed that before I'm going through all these things that the doctor is sending me through right now. And there is an old saying that uh, uh, your patient can tell you what's wrong with you more than you can diagnose it. I don't know, you know, it's a, it's a saying. But anyway, I'm back from the doctor. And I'm back in my spot again, in my bed. And this is where I talk to you mostly from. I don't do too much video, but it looks like uh, today's video ended up being a chatty Kathy. But that's okay. Uh, <laughs> but I'm happy. I'm very happy. I have... Uh, my trailer is a smart trailer, really. I have three Alexa devices and uh, several tablets, several phones, and uh, <laughs> all I have to do is talk to it, and it can turn on and off things or go to certain websites or whatever. You know, I, I just talk to it, but I do have to type a little bit, and... Um, that's kind of hard to do with one arm because I only have one arm paralyzed. So from an accident, uh, got hit by a truck. Mm. So now I got these little marks on me and everything. I said uh, to my neighbor, I said, 
just leave me alone with my friends. So they're always trying to worm things out of me. <laughs> but anyway, she took me to the doctor today, which I'm very happy for. And um, sorry you have to, like, see me in this condition. But uh, at first I was, you know, if you notice my post, I stopped doing live things for a while because for some reason, I don't know why, because usually I'm not inhibited about any of the things, usually. And, uh, but for some reason, I got inhibited about being in front of a camera and having marks on my face. And um, then my hot water heater broke, and uh, it broke some time ago in the winter. And uh, it was too cold and stuff to fix it. So I just uh, used the electric heaters and the propane heater. And, uh, but that doesn't, that doesn't heat the water. So uh, tomorrow, I have it all set up to a new one. It bursts on me. And uh, I have it all set up now. I have it all together. Now I just need to turn off the water and switch the, the fittings and uh, crank her up and see how she goes. And then I'll be able to take hot showers. I just been taking, I have a utility uh, sink. That's my sink for my place here. It's nice and deep and everything. And I can watch uh, clothes out if I want. Or, um, and then I have a, a shower and um, be able to do that again. And uh, then I try, I try real hard to uh, steam clean my whole trailer uh, at least once a week. And uh, I would like to do it even more. But uh, what can I say? Okay. Chatty Kathy, I think, is about done now. And um, I'll be giving you a report as we go along. Which is nice. I'm thankful for every day I wake up. I am thankful. I must have been doing some things right with my decisions in my lifetime. Doing all the things that I used to do. And, uh, of course, the escape was very dangerous. And... Um, and I'd survived it. I'd survived every one of my immediate family. They all passed away. I'm the only living one. But I do have nieces and nephews. And they talk to me. Uh, Jared Holt and uh, his mother, Michelle Holt. And uh, young... Um, Uh, Mark, Mark James, um, I took care of Mark uh, when I was in Hollywood, and uh, my sister asked me to take care of him, and she shipped him from Indiana to uh, Hollywood, that's where I lived at the time. Okay, and that's a, uh, I'm going to try and do some more videos, and, uh, Tell you about some of my experiences that I had during my career and, and talk about some of the people that I met and uh, perhaps take that footage and put it together and uh, have a uh, make it into a movie and having that available for people to be able to purchase and at one time, I thought about 
writing a book. But uh, I don't know if it's that important to write a book. Yeah, it'll it'll last probably a lot longer than a, a me or a video uh, archives being talking about lasting a longer period of time to be in the archives. And, uh, and I thought the video would be a lot better and turn it into a story, do different segments, or maybe just go, go to my website and go down my website, explain what everything is on my website and be able to show people at the same time. I'm also trying to put that together. Uh, so you kind of know. Well, it changes, you know, because I edit it. I haven't been too much uh, editing it because uh, not being, having my problems I have right now. But anyway, I'm going to get on with my day, and I'm sure you want to get on with your day. And I hope you have a good day. And uh, uh, got to give a shout out to Thomas Morrison. He, I like, I like reading his posts and his comments. He, he's got a little comic, comical side to him. It's just very appealing. Uh, and, and I'm gonna give him a shout out. And uh, that's it. Have a wonderful day. Bye.